What's going on guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of Flipping Sand. Today's episode is going to be another unboxing video of stuff I've got down here. And what all this is, is military model kits. Got these at an auction a while ago. You probably ask yourself, why do I do unboxing videos of things that I bid on? Well, the thing is, a lot of times this stuff just sits here. Like this box has been sitting here for about a month and I actually kind of forget what's in it. So it's a little bit of a surprise for me again. And hopefully it's a little bit of a surprise for you or a trip down memory lane for you. So, yeah, you know, and eventually this stuff will end up on my eBay store. So if you see something you like, leave a comment. You know, I can expedite it, list it up for sale quickly. And, uh, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now, before I get into this, the first thing I have to apologize for. Do you hear that? That's my dog panting. That's... That's Ripley over here. This guy. This guy. Look at him. He runs hot. And he pants and pants and pants. Even in the middle of winter. So, I apologize ahead of time for the panting noise in the background. Right, Ripley? Hmm? Yeah, you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Yeah. The old goat. All right. Let's get back to it. Okay. One thing I remember about this auction was that these model kits were new. Now, some were still sealed. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Some were opened, but the contents, the box, the baggies inside were still sealed. Or the items themselves, nothing was broken off of the whatever you call it, the plastic clips, connectors, whatever. So, uh, you know, I'm going to pull these out one by one. We'll see what we got. Yeah. Let's see here. All right, we have... This is an oldie. Look at this. 172. That's pretty small. This is an Aero C3A. Got the plastic wrapped around it because it's open, but you know, let's open it up. We'll see what the contents inside look like. All yeah, right, this one, ah, eh, this one, let me see. Let's look, let's look. This one, as you can see. I would not qualify this as new. Now, as a complete, I don't know. I'll have to go through it and see. But most of the stuff is still attached to the things. Hmm. Anyway. What are you going to do? You know. Let's see what else we have. Packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. That is crazy. They get everywhere. Oh, this is a, a matchbox Messerschmitt. Look at this. That's pretty cool, right? It's kind of big. What scale? Oh, 130, 132nd scale. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Let's see what it looks like. See, this one's nice. This one's nice. Look, take a look at this. Look at these. This is all. Everything's still attached. Even got the... That one's nice. That even comes with some uh, cement that actually hasn't been used and it's still soft. Wow, how about that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Wow, yeah. So... You're into the matchbox stuff. Yeah, I like that. I like that one. That's in really good shape. 
right. What else? What else? It's a pretty big box. This one's still sealed. 148. Edward. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. That's pretty cool. That's 100% sealed, brand new. Hmm. Right. Oh, here we go. Skybo, General Patton's command car. Yeah. It's open. Let's see. Oh, this is brand new. Look at it. Everything's still sealed. Still sealed in the bags. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And again, I don't have prices for this stuff because I haven't even looked it up yet. I don't remember what these things were going for um, when I bid on the stuff. There we go, we got another this is a two pack. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this rat chair. I don't really want to use a knife. I'm afraid I'm gonna bust up the box. Two. Two sky bow, three quarter ton. Four by four weapons carriers. Two of them. And again, look. This is all, these are brand new. Nothing used, decals intact. Pretty cool. That's a 135 scale on those. Okay. This is a sealed one. 148. Yeah. Pretty cool. Is that a World War One biplane? Hmm. I like it. I like it. Peerless one and a half ton personnel carrier. Yeah. Let's see what this looks like. Again, bags are still sealed on this. Check it out. Uh, there's nothing even loose in there. It's almost like it's almost like this person collected these and then just opened it to see what the packaging looked like you know see what the pieces look like and then put them away and never never built them never did anything hmm. this is a sealed one this is dml dml i've never heard of that brand what's that yeah that's pretty cool right you think you guys into this stuff? You like the military model kits? I've always liked model kits. I used to build them when I was a kid. I used to do the uh, muscle car ones. I think I still have them somewhere in a box somewhere. You know, I used to put them in the display box, and, you know, customize them, that kind of thing. What is this? Now, we already saw one of these, but it's the same thing that I showed you earlier. Just another one. Personnel carrier. I'm going to open that one again. All right. This one's new. It's a Peerless Max. British Commonwealth Armed Forces World War II Canadian Chevrolet 15 CWT truck. 135 scale. Brand new. Still in the original cellophane. How about that? That's pretty cool. Kind of makes me want to get back into doing these, building these model kits. What kind of model kits do you guys like to buy? You into the cars or military? Let me know. Leave a comment. I'd love to talk about it. This one, this one's brand new. This is a Ravel Roy Brown with Camel. Look at that. Original cellophane. How about that? And see if you listen. That's Ripley panting. He pants all the time, 24-7. He's sleeping, actually, believe it or not. He's sleeping over there, and he's panting. Uh, another one that's brand new. Hasagawa. 
Boeing B-12E. How about that, right? What scale is this? 132. 132 scale. Again, remind me. Let me know. If you see something you like, let me know. Another sealed one. Ravel Spad 3. The third. More packing peanuts. Lovely. Right. There we go. Let's get the cellophane off of this one. This company does a pretty good job packing this stuff. You know, I never, never get anything damaged from them. That's the one thing about buying things at auction is you learn which companies that do a good job packing and which companies do not. For the most part, though, most of them were pretty good. What is this? This is a Max 135 scale. It's a British light truck. It's open. Let's check it out. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Ah, again, look at it. Check this out. Again, everything's sealed. These are, just, these are brand new. I mean, that's pretty, I mean, that's impressive if you ask me. You, know, you buy these, you don't, you don't build them. You know, you just kind of collect them. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. This box is in great shape. Look at this one, a Skybo 135 square. It's another personnel carrier. Look at this box. This box is like perfect. Yeah, there's a dent in the bottom corner, but you know, that's pretty nice. Again, packaging. Unused intact decals. God, you can't beat that. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright. What else? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? Anomag SS100. Oh, a Tacom. Tacom, Tacom. 135 scale. I'm probably butchering these names. Not a military expert, but check it out. Yeah. Pretty cool. This one's got all everything. Look at this. Everything's brand new, sealed in the baggies. How about that? On to the next. On to the next. Alright, this one box is a little rough on this guy. World's first jet fighter, Ravel. ME262. Pretty cool. 132 scale. Well, it's pretty decent size, right? And everything's still sealed. Decals, instructions. The box is really rough though. You know, the top's falling apart. Looks like it's tried to been somebody tried to tape it to keep it together. That didn't really work. Happens. Well, this is a little guy, a little 148 Southwest Camel, brand new. Still in cellophane. What I mean, like I don't even remember these. It's been that long since I since I got these. So this is like me finding out what I got just like with you. Alright, help me out. I can't read that. <laughs> is that Russian? I have no, look at even the, even the stuff's in Russian. Look at that. Hmm. It's open. Let's see what the inside looks like, right? Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Come on. Come on, let go. Let go. Open. Open sesame. What do we have to do to open the box? We need to open the box without damaging it. So you gotta do it a little bit at a time. 
Come on. Come on, off you go. Off you go. There it is. Oh. Well, this guy is really like three pieces. Look at this. Look at this, and then we got the main pieces. Hm. I don't know. Is that complete? I'll have to check it out later. I don't know for sure. I don't know for sure. It's not cool. I don't see this stuff very much anymore. Another rough box, another Ravel 132 scale. Yeah. Sounds a little loose on the inside. Yeah, this guy's a little loose. Check it out. And some of it's still sealed on there, but some of it's loose. The bombs are loose. I think it just they came loose over time. I don't think this one was I don't think this one was started at all. Rough box again, though, the top. No, oh, this is different. I mean, remember this one. Clash of Wills, Shiloh, 1862. Oh, it's a board game. I forgot about this. This is brand new. Still sealed. It's a Civil War game. Huh. I thought they were all model kits, see? I forgot. I forgot. This guy's still sealed. Navy D. Looks like another Russian tractor with a semi-trailer. Still in its original packaging. The barcode, if you can read it. Hmm. That one's still sealed, brand new. Look at this little guy. Like somebody must have got this at a garage sale. Still has a price sticker on it. I don't know. It's just got this just printed paper. Somebody printed paper. I don't know. I have to do some research on that. I don't know what that is. Uh, ICM model kit. Three five five one five. Oh, it's a Soviet army truck. Check it out. She's open. Let's see what's inside. Oh, man, brand new. Hundred percent. Everything's still sealed. Yep. Instructions. Everything. Dodge three quarter ton ambulance. It's open. Let's check it out. Again, everything's sealed. Uh, anything sealed? Some of the stuff has broken loose inside. That's to be expected. Over time, that stuff happens. Any jostling around, anything like that. What are you gonna do? You know. Man. Hobbycraft. It's a P-35A. World War II fighter. Open. Eh, this guy. Some of the stuff still sealed, but some of it is loose on the inside. So, again, I don't know about this one. Have to check that out later. This is a big one. Oh. these big. Oh, look at this. Check this. This is big. It's only at the 135 scale, but geez. Wow. It's all brand new. Instructions. 
Everything still sealed and in the bags. Wheels. All there. Pretty cool. Looks like you can build it in different configurations based on the size of the box. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Soviet six wheel on the truck. Russian. Easy Russian. Glare. Mm. Open. Let's see what she looks like on the inside. booklet there but yeah, yeah everything still sealed brand new brand new you know again do you guys like this kind of content you know do you like me going through this stuff you know really i just kind of hope it takes you down memory lane you know maybe you were a kid and you built this stuff or let me know. You know, because that's what I'm I'm here to do things that you enjoy watching. And again, I did another unboxing video a few weeks ago. Hot Wheels. I got a giveaway in that video. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this one. But I'm giving some of them away. So I watch the video and see how you can win some if you're in Hot Wheels. Another big guy. It's a Ukraine. Yes, from the Ukraine. Yeah. Let's see what she looks like. Yep, again. Packing peanuts. Plenty of those. Instructions. Everything still sealed in the original baggies. Yeah, wow. Box is a little rough, but uh, the graphics are really nice on it. Okay. Don't fall. Don't fall. Get down to the bottom here. Oh, another board game. Robinson Crusoe board game. Sealed. I forgot that it, I forgot that I won some board games in this auction. Two more. Two more left. And then that is it. Let's see. This guy. This guy's got cellophane, so let's unwrap it. I'm gonna guess the box is gonna be really bad too. Okay, it's a jet bomber. She's, uh, you know, it doesn't look like it's been started, but you know, some of the stuff is busted loose, so I don't want to, I don't want to pull it all out and then mess it up. Can't get the box closed, but you get the idea. Get the idea. All right, one more, one more. Oh. What a board game! World War II. What's it? Barbarossa, 1941. Yeah. There's the barcode. Yeah. It's brand new. And I think. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So, not a terribly long video, but uh, yeah, it's a decent amount of model kits that I have to go through now. But 
like I said, eventually I'll get these listed up in my eBay store. And uh, yeah, all right. That'll about do it for this one. Thanks for watching. And again, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Um, I have a few other videos, some tips and tricks related to eBay. I have a video on taking pictures and another video on listing items using the eBay app. And like I mentioned earlier, I have the Hot Wheels unboxing video available with a giveaway in that video. So be sure to check that out. See how you can win some Hot Wheels from me that I'll ship to you 100% free. And uh, yeah, all right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.